Hey folks, very very good morning. As you can see, we are no more in the yard at the port of Yokohama, Kawasaki or Nagoya. We are at a very lovely oil smelling a showroom. A showroom of a guy who owns this place with a plenty of a supercar, drift car and exclusive luxury units that he's going to sell. He's willing to sell and then we are there, we are here. We came from Yokohama all the way up to Fukushima to showcase you one by one that you guys can actually purchase with us and we will ship them safe and secure to your destination. Let's go. Now we are at the very showroom of this legendary man that he's in the middle of doing a job and uh, we wanted to exchange a couple of questions and answers so that you guys get to know what is this shop about and why, why he's doing this job, right? Mr. Suzuki Hirokazu is a, a legendary man. That some points that I would like to introduce you. Oops, I'm sorry, he's in the middle of a job. Sweet son. Hi. Hello. Hello. I'm, I'm sorry to disturb you. Well, thank you for having us. Yeah. You have a very beautiful showroom. Oh, it actually you. smells oil. <laughs> yes, oil smells oil. work. Yeah. Very authentic. Yeah. You have very luxurious cars, very exclusive cars. Yeah. And now the question is why do you do this job? Ah, uh, it's reason. Uh, yeah. I have reason because. Uh, I'm born to the car uh, maintenance shop. Okay. So my father uh, running the car maintenance shop, maintenance factory. Uh -huh. He's still, uh, still work now. He's still working? Yes, working oh, now. God bless him, a good <laughs> help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, I start my racing history started uh, six or seven years old. Okay. Oh. When you were six years old? Yes. When you were a child? Yes. Started the uh, motorcycle. A motorcycle? Yeah. By the way, Mr. Suzuki has uh, a lot of titles in the racing. Yeah. You, we will put somewhere the list of it. And then he also the drift. He has so many regalies and then the titles that he got like the first prizes, second prizes. There's a, there's a big history about it. <laughs> yes, right. It's too, too long story. It's too long. It's too, too long. long. Because, uh, so he's much. still young. Yes. He's, he's young, like yes. a 27 years old, I guess. eh? Yeah. You're 27 years <laughs> <No>. old. <laughs> okay, but you look very young, in a good shape. You Thank have a big passion. Thank you. Now the question, you do the uh, the European cars, especially yeah. this Ferrari. Mm. What's the model? 360. 360, 360. F360. Yes. And you turned this into a drift car. Yes. Why? <laughs> Why? Uh, reason, is one reason. Yeah. Uh, I'm too young, uh, maybe. 30 years old, yeah. old. my dream, oh, Ferrari drifting. You had a dream to make the Ferrari a drift car. Yes. You had plenty of other options, Japanese cars. No. Nissan, no. Silvia, Chargers, uh, the GTRs, but you decided to do this one. Because uh, Ferrari is a beautiful car, beautiful the super car. cars. Uh, okay. My dream, my, my child dream, uh, right. drift plus supercar. All right. So my dream. Okay. It's but this fun. is not the only car, um, expensive or the luxuries or supercar he turned into a drift. Yes. There is a second car. Second car is uh, this. Which is McLaren. Yes. To be precise, what is the model of this car? Uh, this car's model is uh, McLaren uh, MP4. MP4. MP4 12C. Yep. But a uh, special base car because a GT3. It's from a GT3. GT3. Racing car. You can find a lot of videos with Mr. Suzuki. Yeah about this particular car, how he's um, drifting in, inside the Abyss circuit. Yes. Right? And that's crazy. You're driving a like supercar as a drift, right? Are you selling this one? No. <laughs> no. Are you selling the other car? No. F360. No. You don't sell them? Yeah, no sale. All right. No. Good. Mm. All right. Well, if we have a good customer, good price? Yes. You sell? <laughs> All right. Done deal. Mr. Suzuki is not only um, famous with the only McLaren, maybe, mm. in the world, mm. as a drift he turned into, and then he has a Ferrari. Mm. Well, so, uh, there are so many other Japanese cars, right? Yes. Mm. Are you, you training as a, a, a oh. drifting them? Yes, uh, my first drift car is a uh, Miata. Oh, Mazda Roadster. Roadster, yes. Right. So, uh, I made a body kit. You love that car. Yes. And that's why you make a beautiful body parts about it. Yeah, out of the body. Body kit. Body kit. Yeah. And the body kit is not regular body kit. This is very specific for your company. Yeah. What is the brand body of your kit. company? Arios. Arios. Yeah. The brand name of the body yes, kit is Arios. Arios. Yes. And you do 
produce them in Japan? Yes. You do supply them or Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. This is a, a Ferrari body kit. Yep. Yeah. You did fabricate yourself. Yes. Well, you produced my yourself. design. Right. It's I, your I design. made it. It's your design. I'm, I'm shaping. Right. Mm. Good. The front bumper. Front and the side step and the, the rear side wing. One. But yes, Arios is a very famous for body kit. It's a Miata. Miata. Because uh, use the uh, need for speed, you know, game. Exactly. So I think many, so, many so, guys who are crazy about the cars, everyone knows the need for so, speed. So if you uh, buy the Miata after yeah. the, buy the parts, yeah. you can choose the Arios body kit. In need for speed. In the game. Yes. In the game. In the um, Fast and Furious, the <laughs> Tokyo Drift R34, it had your body kit. No, no, no. Which model is it? Ah, I don't know. Miata. So, so, so one, one thing. Okay. So one thing, uh, track the over the head, and yeah. the Miata body kit. Because I don't know. Ah, you didn't so, know. So my customer to take a movie. Right. This is your body kit. Really? <laughs> ah, you didn't know yourself. <laughs> that is it, guys. See, I mean, he, he, so he has a big passion to produce yeah. a body kit for a Mazda Miata. Yeah. Right. And then apparently that body part came on the most famous movie, Fast and Furious, yeah. Yeah. Tokyo Drift. Mm. Beautiful. Thank you very much. It Thank was very you. pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. Right. I'm not going to disturb you anymore, please. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So Mr. Suzuki is busy. He's working on his both cars over there, so I don't want to disturb him. But we have um, our good mate is also from this company. Mr. Sachin is with us and now he's going to explain us about each unit and yep. plus he's going to give us the prices. Right. Some of parts. Okay. Some yeah. of the cars. Right. Okay, That's but it. no of the cars are being sold. Yep. So the first car is from Nakai-san. Nakai Legendary Nakai-san. Legendary. Yeah. We built in last year from uh, RWB headquarters. Right. This is a 964 with only 71,000 kilometers. And you can see the Nakai San sign in dashboards in here. In the dashboard. Yep. Uh, in here. Nakai San is a legendary, um, a legendary man, let's say. He, yeah. he deserves the word man with a big title M. Yeah. He is, this is his signature, basically, yep. correct? And he also, we are a advertised body. dealer for. RWB here in Japan. Right. We are advertised. We sell a lot of RWBs in here and his own Stella Boost too. We sell right. to overseas. So, yeah, this is the one we last built from mm -hmm. him. So, this little bit of uh, is special for us because it's a cabriolet, it's the road it's star a version. Right. Yeah, road star version. Soft this, top. Yep. This is the only one we built the road star version. To make it resume, it's a Porsche 911. 1990 year model, yeah. 964, yep. and Carrera 2 with a mileage of a 71,000, been built by Nakaisan RWB. How much is the price? Yep, we are looking for 20 million for this Japanese. Yeah. 20 million. 20 million. 20 million. Yep. So, Sachin, we have another Porsche. Yeah. Porsche 911, 930 with a mileage of 40,000. I checked it. Yep. You just quote the price. How much is it? No, mate, it's already sold one. Oh, man. Yeah, but uh, I can say we are not just only car sale, right. car dealer. Yeah. We modified cars ourselves. You did modify this Yeah. One, but it's sold. sold. Yeah, it's sold. Ah, that is sold, guys. Carry on. Okay, Sachin, I see another like a Porsche. This looks very, very fresh model. Yeah, is it, it is. 992? Yeah, it is 992. It's 2022. It's super fresh with a real low mileage. Yeah. I can say it's something like brand new. It is brand new. We have, yeah. So the manual and yeah. the right, right hand drive. It's a Porsche Carrera GTS yes. manual with a with a almost zero mileage. Yep. But not but let's say it, it is a right hand, hand drive, drive yeah. vehicle. Yep. And what is the price you're asking for? So we still not desire that. And you can ask in the future for the price. Any options we can swap it with some other cars? Oh, it should be, it should be F40. F40. <laughs> no, just a joke. So yeah, we still not decide the price. Yeah. And uh, we will, we will display it. In yeah, the sure. What if I tell you I have a GTR 35 orange, 5,000 mileage. It's mint condition. Yeah, we Ooh. have R35. Possible yeah. to swap it? Mm, this is Porsche. This is Porsche. Bam. So, you know, I'm the Porsche guy. Yeah. I don't want to compare the Porsche with the yeah. JDM cars. Okay. So he didn't give the price. 
Let's ask. Yeah. Sachin, we're done with Germans. Porsches are done. Um, we have Italians here. Yep. Okay, we have the Ferrari F512. Yeah. What's the year model? Yeah, it's 1992. 1992 yep. model. Uh, mileage? Mileage 33,000 kilometers. 33,000. Um, and the mid condition, there's no accident history. Yeah. And no repaint. Okay. All original car, fully original car. I can't get a price for this. I'm sorry. Right. So, yeah. But it's still negotiable. Yeah. It's we can communicate about the prices. Sure. Okay. Car is in a mint condition. It is a Japan spec or Euro spec? Yeah, this is a Japanese spec. This is Japan spec. Yeah. Okay. So he didn't give us the price, but this car is also on the sale. 2008. Right. Only 33,000 kilometer. 33,000. Factory okay. racing, racing spec. Okay. And uh, we can see the carbon racing seats and we have the uh, carbon bucket seat yep. stock yep. from the Ferrari, factory, yes. from the Ferrari. And the racing seat belt. Right. And uh, this car has some modification around this car. You what, can see the front, kind of front carbon yeah. lip. Okay, and we have the carbon lips on the front. Good. And on the side. Yep, side skirt. Right side skirts, yeah, it's a carbon are, fiber. Yes, yeah, so we are original carbon fiber side skirts. And Great. this Yokohama, original Yokohama wheels, 19 inch wheels. Right. Yeah, exhaust system. Right. Yeah. And now the exhaust also being um, yeah, after this market. is the aftermarket, yep. correct? It's called right. Polycraft. Good. So, what are you asking for this car? Yep, we are looking for 17 million. 17 million. Yeah. yeah. 17 million for F4. Yeah, we are under. Uh, I can I can show you. Right. So this is what the the owner manuals and everything. All the maintenance yep. books yep. are present. You have yep. them all. Yep. As a supercar, it's really important the Great. maintenance history sure. Sure. and the owner manuals. Right. Thank you very much. You're keeping it very well maintained. Okay. Now introduce me this beautiful yellow Italian. F360. Yep. It's another 360, same yeah. like the Suzuki San has. Yeah, it's a little different with the what the Mazda Suzuki San has. Uh, so this is F360 Spider. Yes. Uh, mileage? Mileage should be this little, little bit of high mileage, uh, 47,000. 47,000. Yep. Here we are seeing uh, 12 million for this. 12 million. million. Yep. JPY. Yep. For today. So the Ferraris are done and we are moving to a Lamborghini, another Italian manufacturer. Good. Lamborghini Avantador. Yes. This What's the year model? 2016. Mm -hmm. uh, Avantador Spider. Yep. Yeah. With the less than 10,000 kilometers and yeah, full stock car and the no. Everything's we, stock. Yep. No modification. No modification. All maintenance book present. Yep. Everything in all of us. Yep. Great. Good. And Avantador, the Lamborghini Avantador production for the internal combustion yeah. engine being suspended in 2022. Yep. These are the last models. And from 2023 to they started making a electric, electric. ones, which yeah. are not the, okay, no comment on that part. Yep. So Sachin, what are you asking for this car? Yeah, we're looking for 40 million for this. 40, 40 million. Yep. About 40 this million. And everything. You, yep. ha you told me that you have two Lamborghinis. Yep. One is Avantador, what is the second one? Yeah, you can see the logo in there. This one. There is the logo. That's yep. also Lamborghini, actually. E but that's not the Lamborghini. It's, it's Lamborghini. just the cover. Yeah, just a cover. This is the one. This is the one. What's the model? Murcielago. Murcielago. Yep. Or right, let me do the do this, folks. I'm revealing the brand new car for your attention. We have a Lamborghini Murcielago. What's the year model? It's 2003. 2003. Yep. The manual one. Manual one. What's the mileage reading on this one? Yeah, it's uh, less than 15,000 kilometers. Less than 50,000. Everything in stock. No modification. It has a GT wing. GT wing on the back. Yeah. That is beautiful. Yeah, it's ready okay. for sale. It's ready for sale. Yeah. You're also selling this. Yeah. One. What is the price you're asking for? Oh, uh, it might be 33 million for this. 33 million. Yep. Again, what's the year model? Yeah, 2003. 2003. It's a manual. All right. I'll be selling your luxurious cars from now on, eh? Yeah. And make a good profit margin on that one. Oh, exactly. Cheers, man. Cheers, mate. <laughs> now, Sachin, let's move into the JDM, Japanese like cars. Yeah. Now, we see this beautiful pinky bluish with modification, lots of things being done on here. What yep. is this car? Yeah, there's a lot of modification inside this car. Yeah. You can see the white fenders. This car original from our Armenia. Armenia. Fully built car. Yeah. And the engine, everything is built from the Aramia. What is the and car? What is the model? 
This is Mazda? 1964 Mazda. As a, I can say the first generation of the Rotary. This Mazda is Mazda RX7 first generation. 1984. 84. Yep. The first generation. Yep. And then it's been modified by the company called RMMia. RMMia. One of the famous Rotary right. builders in here. So their company is modifying, tuning, detailing. Everything. Completely Everything. changing. Yep. And the whole part is like carbon fiber. Yep. Yeah. They will not produce any car from there. This might be last or something like that. Right. So, so not we're many. special and rear ray cars. Rear ray car. Not many units left. Yep. So that means you cannot quote any price for this one. Yes, this we we are not estimate the price. We you cannot, cannot even estimate the price. Yep. Maybe it's open for the offer. Who can maintain yeah. well? This okay. Is because this is the really unique, ah. and you know this icon of the Rotary. Right. Yep. So it's been showcased every yep. year in Tokyo Auto Mazda. Salon. Now Mazda is done, and we have this like crazy price increasing car at the moment. Iconic car. This is a BNR 34 Skyline, a GTR 34 Skyline. Yep. One of my what is the year model? Yeah, it's 1999. Which month? Uh, it's, yeah, it's, you can export to USA. It's, it's legal yeah, now. Yeah, it's 25 years old car. It's already 25 yeah. years old. Yeah. Okay. 26. Not RB26. This is what fully is this? modified. Fully R modified. RB28. 2.8. 2.8 liter. Right. And HKS, a lot of HKS parts, tur turbo right. and the uh, everything inside the engine is HKS. This engine has only less than 10,000 kilometer and never been accident, yeah. never been run, yeah. in, drive in the rain. Right. Never drive in the rain. Engine is fully original. Fully There's original. No aftermarket parts. Price is increasing. Every I know every it is second. increasing. It's and yeah, we are hoping for 22 million. 22 million. Yep. 22 million. Is there a market price at the moment for this one? Fine, I think. I saw with the entrance, you put the BNR32 outside, yep. but not inside. Yep. Tell me the story about this car. Yeah, it's not a garbage, I can say. We bring from the storage, one of the, our, one of the friends storage. Yeah. So we have to restore the full car. Yeah. And only 66,000 kilometers. Last 20 years, no one drove this car. For the past last 20, 20 years, yep. no one drove this car. No. It's just staying the it's, same as it is. Yes. The car Madness. owner was the HKS uh, engineer. One of the HKS engineers yep. owned this car. Yep. Oh, man. You can see like the, uh, the footprints of a cat. Cats, yeah. So many cats are coming on top of it. <laughs> You need to maintain this car. It's a yeah, value. We're going to restore the full car and yeah. we will make the price for this. Probably. There's no rust under the car. This car sitting on the garage. Yeah. Last 20 years. It's, there's no rust. That is the main point. We are. Captain Garage. Yep. For the past 20 years. Yep. Are you selling this car? Yeah, in future, definitely we will sell the car. We will rest restore and we have to check the engine condition and everything. You have to yeah. restore. Yep. Lots of work to be done, or you no, know, just for the engine, just a little touch and up. the brake. engine yeah. brakes. Yeah, something like that. Gasket in the engines, right? Yep. Oh, everything is originally maintained, kept. You have all the service maintenance books. Yeah, you can yeah. see there's some uh, cheese in there. Yeah. There's a little, there's a little book here. Yeah. Argent. This is the gasoline. This from 2000. This was the last time you put the gasoline in it. Yep, it should be. He put in the 25 liters. At 25 that, liters. Yeah. Back in 2000, in July the 1st, the High Oak, that's a premium engine, yep. or the, the oil, 25 liters he paid, or she paid, 2,857 yen. The, the workshop here. Yep. Another garage here. Yes. You can't store many cars over here, but parts work. You do it here. Yeah. On the lift here. We have lift and everything in here. Good. You have the uh, from Nissan 300 Z yep. X. Is it also on the sales? You selling this car? Yeah, it it well, it's already sold car. And already we are sold. Going, yeah, we're gonna doing some maintenance for the maintenance. client, right. and we will handle the car. Ah. Already. Where is this car going? Yeah, it's uh, it's local. It's Korean. Ah, local. Yeah. Right. Now this is a beautiful piece. This is a beautiful piece from Lancia Delta. Iconic. Iconic. Iconic car. Modified by Martini. Yep. So, right. Yeah, it's uh 1996 one. And uh, 
400, one of 400. One of 400 yep. units. Yep, one of 400. It's Must very hard to find the pieces yeah. of it. Yes, Martin IV, it's really hard to find. I yeah. think in Japan, there is five, six car in Martin IV. And uh, yeah, it's really good car. You already sold this it's car? It's a rare car. Yeah, it's sold and going to Dubai. Oh man, Dubai, we're not going to disclose how much was it, who is it buying, yeah. but yeah. this is a beautiful piece. So you have another piece of Porsche. Yeah. 911. This is 99, what's this model, 993? Yes, 992, 1995, right. uh, 100,000 kilometers. 100,000 kilometers. The OBD, and they have fully stock car. All right. And no repaint, it's free. No mechanical issue, the car all functions are working properly. Just just have to do some inspection, then we put into the, our, store, our showroom. And what is the price for you? Yeah, asking? it's 11 million car. 11 million. Japanese. 11 million. Yep. Porsche 911, 1995, it's a 993 model. Carrera. Okay. It's a Carrera. Right, so 11 million. What is this piece? No, it's not a special one. It's just special for me. It's special my, for you? Yeah, it's my That's drift. your drift car? Yeah, it's my. You do drift? Yeah. How long have you been drifting? Yeah, just start from the drift. Yeah, right. after my uh, uh, studies and everything, you know. You gotta, you gotta be saving a lot of money because <laughs> this hobby, yeah, costs a lot of money. Yeah, so for a week, around um, 50,000 50, Japanese. Nissan 186. Nissan 180 SX. SX. Little, a couple of modifications around the engine. What did you do? You guys are very slow and uh Too much, too much, too much uh, break. <laughs> I did well, huh? He's good, huh? Look at this guy. Okay. You can find it. It's 30,000. 30,000? 30, yeah. It's, it's oh, this is uh, You can do this on asphalt. Oh, man. We spent a lovely day today in Fukushima. It's rainy, but there's nothing rainy deep inside our chest. We saw a lot of luxury, hyper luxury supercars, and some are being modified too much. Thanks for Sachin. He's the man of his I job. He's doing modifications, maintaining, and taking care a very good care of every single unit that we showcase today. And these units are not only the limit, Line. we have more. Yep, we have more cars back in our yard. So what do we need to do to get these cars? You, they have to contact. Great. So okay. you guys can get in touch with us. We have some other beautiful units, hypercast luxury units, which are in Japan, which is only sold within a closed groups. And Mr. Suzuki and Sachin, they have a beautiful community here. They possess loads of beautiful cars, which you guys can actually purchase it. See you in the next Luxuries Supercar Shop. Keep in touch. Keep in touch. Bye-bye.